Welcome to what is to be a short tutorial on how to tag inject a Pelican dropship that is flyable into Forge World on Halo Reach in the Master Chief Collection. This is going to be using the Steam version of the game because the Windows Store version requires you to dump the game files prior to that to doing this so you can actually access them in the first place. So we're using the Steam version of the game and to begin with what we're going to do is we're going to open up one of the campaign maps that has a Pelican dropship in the map. I'm going to choose M35 because I know that it has the Pelican. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the vehicle tab. We're going to find the objects, vehicles, human Pelican, the Pelican. And we're going to right click and we're going to press Extract. Name what you want, I've named it Pelican, I've already got it here. Uh, so you extract the tag, and then you can just close this off. Then what you want to do is you want to open file again and go to Forge Halo, which is Forge World. You then go along to Tags, and at the bottom left you'll see the word Import. Open up, you press that, and you open up your Pelican tag. Now, I'm not sure if sound injection works, I don't think it does, I think there still needs to be I think there's still some things that need to be worked out. Uh, obviously more so because this is MCC but before on the console you couldn't in sound inject tags. So when you injected the tag into a map on Halo 3 or Halo Reach on the console there was no sound on those injected targets. They were still operational, but there just there wasn't any sound. According to this, you can do it on Halo 4, but obviously we've not got that in we're on the NCC, so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that's untapped, or uncrossed, and we're going to inject. Assembly might freeze, it might not. It's freezing here, you just wait for it to work. I'm just going to do this because it makes it feel faster for me. Just to wait, it does take a moment, just take a couple of minutes to inject. In the meantime, there is one, one thing you do need to do is when you've got your tag, you need to make sure it's that size, 163 megabyte. If it's a very low file size and there's something went wrong with the tag extraction, so you'll need to re-extract those to that tag before you can inject that again, before you can inject it, otherwise it might not work. Just got to wait for this. And wait and wait and wait. Another thing is, uh, this version of Assembler isn't an official release right now. It's actually compiled from a Master Chief Collection branch on GitHub that I had to compile myself. But and uh, I won't be providing the source for the. I won't be providing the compiled version because I don't particularly want to be responsible if something goes wrong. Now, this has taken a, a few minutes. Just got to sit and wait here until this is actually done. I mean, I could just edit this out. Relatively simple. There we go, tag injection. So, imported to 1027 tags, blah 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 blah. That's completely relevant to us, we don't really care about that as long as the tag injection is successful. And as you can see, the tag is here. Now, to make the Pelican A flyable and to B have it actually show up in the Forge palette, we're first going to go down to the seats here and we're going to first tap untack in Valve player and we're going to change this seat animation here to warthog under slash d I'm just going to have a wee save there make sure it's saved then what we're going to do is we're going to head up to the scenario tag which is scnr we're going to go to that and we're going to search for palette in assembly and we're going to look for a specific palette which 
is the sandbox part here. Now, as you can see, they got the humans, weapons, the human uh, covenant weapons, armor about it, and then number three is vehicles. As you can see, there is nine entries starting from zero and going up to eight. In each of those, obviously, are vehicles that are in the map. That doesn't include the separate MCC palette, which is in here somewhere. For our scenery, hidden. Uh, that, this is not relevant right now. So, we're going to go to vehicles, as you can see, like that. And if we're going to, I think it's five or six, five, no, seven, there we go, Warhorse. You can also see there's sub variants as well. So, you've got the default, you've got the Ross, and you've got the Rocket. What we're going to do is we're going to press the wee X, the, the wee plus. We're going to add one, reallocate, and that creates a new entry for us to use. So we're going to 9, see there's 10, 0 to 9, which 10. We're going to just name it Pattern. Right? We're also going to go to entry variants. We're going to do the same thing, add one, add what was allocated. I'm going to open it up, once again, we are done, I'm going to change the tag type to vehicle, which is V here, right at the bottom, there we go, and we're going to add in Peloton, do I leave that blank, do I leave that blank, that blank, and that blank, then, we'll, we'll, then what we're going to do, is going to do save, and that's your Peloton tag injected. So we're going to go to Steam, play, obviously and the cheat disabled, and we'll launch this achieve collection. So we're going to Forge. Oh, oh, need to put it onto Forge World. Forge World. Start the map. Say Peloton there. I don't exactly know why I'm not a professional, I'm not a you know, particularly strong model or anything. I'm just, I just know basics. But as you can see, we have a Peloton. It's, you know, it's got full physics meshes and all that sort of stuff. Don't know if the gun works, but that's kind of irrelevant because what we want to do is fly. Which we can. So, it is a fairly functional Peloton, it obviously doesn't have the sims of the Peloton, but you know it's not the worst thing in the world, it does fairly work however. So that there is a short and probably very bad tutorial on how to inject a Peloton into Forge World on Halo Reach on the Master Chief Collection. I will provide a link to the GitHub branch but as for a compiled version, you will have to find one yourself or compile it yourself, which isn't actually too hard.